And we are in for a pretty nice day, but then some drastic changes. Yeah, I wrote a letter to Wednesday. I said, Dear Wednesday, you look beautiful. Could you tell Thursday to Thursday take a hike? That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that work for you? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know if she's listening. Uh, we've got right now temperatures that are in the 40s, even some 50s in spots. Uh, here's your first alert that this afternoon at the bus stop, it is going to be a warm one. The kiddos will need a sweatshirt this morning, but by this afternoon, 81. A breezy southwest wind at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. And again, a lot of sunshine. It is, as promised, the warmest day of the week and about 18 to 20 degrees above normal. We're going to see sunshine statewide today 80s today but wah, wah, 40s tomorrow tomorrow morning is actually going to be a lot warmer than what we're going to see in the afternoon once the front pushes through here's what this looks like today mild to start we've got clear skies low 60s by 10 o'clock by 1 2 o'clock we're in the low 80s very warm this afternoon and the southwesterly wind again coming in at around 5 to 15 miles per hour uh, Denver by 9 o'clock, still very mild. You've got some 50s near Fort Collins and Greeley, but the cold front not pushing through overnight. It's going to be more so early tomorrow morning. So we'll start off tomorrow morning with our temperatures in the 40s to near 50 by 7 o'clock, and then it's only going to get colder as the day goes on. Clouds increasing by mid-morning to midday, right around 10 to 12. Chance for some showers, a rain-snow mix for the foothills, and we could see a couple of inches up and through the mountains. Any totals down here are going to be pretty light, likely less than an inch. And again, it could start off as more of a mix. But look at the northerly winds coming in really gusty, and it's a lot of cold air. So we're going to drop down into the 30s by the afternoon tomorrow with the chance for a little bit of snow. And I would say down near Highlands Ranch and Parker, that's where you could get more accumulation on the grass, maybe even on the, the road. So down south along the Palmer Divide as well, quite a bit colder by 430 with some clearing skies from north to south. Getting up into the mountains could pick up a couple of inches there in through the foothills. So tomorrow we're calling it a first alert action day. Now we're launching this and here's the reason why. We want to, to bring it in on days when we know there's going to be inconvenient weather. We don't want to freak people out. This is not a freak out situation, but this is weather that could impact your day tomorrow. So really we'd like you to stay tuned for details and we'll keep you on top of it. But whenever you see that action day alert or even the little action tab that we're going to put on top of the days on our seven day just to alert you why much colder tomorrow an action day on Friday Jace due to it being so cold in the morning teens and 20s early Friday morning with that criteria every day is an action alert traffic day when it comes